guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm tunisia if you didn't already know and today is a video i'm pretty excited for because today i will be going into the city by myself for the first time so a little mini solo trip and we're going to be going to a nike time serena williams um event collab type of thing that is happening in the city by hudson yards and i'm going to that today and i'm probably gonna do a little shopping after so i'm excited to take you guys along with me today is one of the first so basically when i go to the city i take the train from jersey right and all the time i'm late like i literally get here and the train is already there and i have to run and like hop on the train but today is actually the first time i'm 15 minutes early like i'm literally sitting in my car vlogging this intro like recording this intro really quick and then i'm gonna go so i don't have to like do it in front of people so after i finish i'm just gonna walk over to the train station and just wait until nine for the train to come so yeah we're pretty on time the nike event starts at 10 so i'm trying to get there as soon as it opens it's a little bit of a walk once i do get in the city i think like 20 minutes or so so i want to get there as soon as it opens so that there isn't a lot of people and if there's giveaways <laughs> there's enough for me like so um so far we are on schedule um and yeah that's just pretty much what this video is going to consist of and a little summary of what's going on so far so yeah let's get into the video okay guys so we are officially in the city and i am walking to hudson yards and it's actually just a seven minute walk so not as bad as I thought. So far, everything was going smoothly. Actually, the train, I had to like take two different trains because it's different. The um, what would you call it? The schedule is different on the weekends, and I didn't know that. So that was really the only thing that was different for me and different for me. And like when I found out the train was already moving, so I was like, am I going to the wrong place? Because it's a whole book. I was supposed to be going to New York and then you like in New York so yeah that was really the only thing but this lady also helped me and like showed me where to go for the second train so wait why did the time just get added on hold on I mean it's 12 minutes now um, let me pay attention to where I'm going but that's basically it um, it's not so crowded so far. There's still a lot of people, but it's not as crowded. But yeah, that's the update for now. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so a little update. The GPS says I'm like three minutes away, but I don't. it's not like really telling you where to go, even though it's the exact route. Because like, it's saying straight, but there's like a mall straight. So I'm currently in the mall, and I asked someone for help, and she just told me to go up the escalators and go straight. So... That's what I'm doing right now. And I'm seeing signs, like it's a picture of the vessel. I don't know if you guys, if you watched my last vlog, I've been in this mall before and I showed the same sign. Let me show you. In my last New York vlog, hold on. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So it's right by, oh. I kind of know where I am now. I know where I am now. Okay, okay. We're getting closer. <laughs> So 
found a new religion. Now I'm swimming in that sea. So guys, I didn't get to create my own Nike pieces because that um, activity was booked out for the rest of the day and I literally checked everywhere and I didn't see anywhere about booking. So I don't know if when I checked it was already booked out so they took it off the site. But I got to do everything else. That's just kind of like the main thing I wanted to do, but it's whatever. It's really cool in there. Um, the vibe, the music, everyone's super friendly. I'm glad I went. It was a pretty cool experience. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna like probably go to Zara and H&M in, uh, what's this mall called? I wanna say like West Side, no, I don't know. Yeah, maybe actually. But I'm probably gonna go, I'm actually kinda hungry though. I didn't eat breakfast, so maybe I'll find like something quick to eat first. Cause inside of the mall has places to eat. So maybe I'll look in there and then I'll do some shopping and yeah. Um, let's get to it. Let me tell you guys something. You guys are so lucky. So lucky these boots are $120. Because I promise you, if they were 70 or less, I would eat you guys the hell up. You guys are so lucky. And they have, this is my size, like, I'm thinking about it. I don't even want to try it on because I know I'm going to get it. I would have ate you guys up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in those boots. Mark my words. Okay guys, so I'm currently in H&M and I'm just trying on like, I picked up like what, four pieces that I'm just trying on. And I have one of them on right now. Let me flip the camera so you guys can see. And it's this denim skirt, but it's too long. And I tried like the folded up look with them where you like fold this part but I don't think it's giving so I kind of like just unfolded it just now just so you guys could see how long it is if I wore it regular like it's too long uh, I don't think yeah it's too long I don't think this is it and it's only, it's only ten dollars but I was wondering if I should get it then cut it but it's like I'm not feeling it. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Why aren't we focusing? Okay, there we go. Um, next up are these jeans. So these jeans are cute, but I think they're too big. I wanted the oversized look, but this might be too oversized or $17.99. And this is what they're giving. Mm. Too big, right? And they're folded too, so they're big folded. Unfolded is this. I think right here is way too raggy. And like, yeah, nah, they're too big. Simply put, oh, it's so easy to take the bodysuit off. But lastly, is this dress, and it's an absolutely no it's an absolute no it's very much giving great grand aunt yeah it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work but yeah so i guess i'm not getting anything the last thing were like these cotton shorts Mom? here but i already yeah. went up here and i know what they're like so this is my outfit of the day by the way guys some all black serving details the glasses yeah the thongs yeah the tote bag yeah definitely a serve been knew how to dress per per Peach color skies reveal a sunrise Until we lost they just discover salvation Don't you wish we could run away now Okay guys, so I was gonna do like a little more shopping But I just checked the train thing And it comes at 12 11 And there's actually a film fest back at home That I'm gonna go to So I'm gonna take you guys along with me to that So it's 11 38 and the train comes at 12 11 so I'm just gonna head out now. The mall got so much more crowded than when I first got here, look. 
It was literally so well. It's not like crowded, crowded, but it was so much more empty before, right? Or am I tripping? Oh, this is such a pretty view. Wait. Yeah. because I gotta catch a train I mean it's a 12 minute walk I have time I just want to see what's over here really quick before I go Ooh, you're so beautiful too start heading back oh look he's taking graduation pictures this is a good spot for that actually guys they literally have a birria taco birria is how you say it correctly but they have a birria taco truck i have 30 minutes look. oh they do burritos and bowls Recording, it keeps stop recording, but I was doing a lot of area talking. Oh, that's why it's fashion week, that's why there's so much going on. I'm just gonna get one taco, it's five dollars $5 per taco. Sinicia, you can put ten. Ten. Okay, guys, I ordered really quick. Apparently, this um, taco truck has been on Fox Friends, Fox News, a whole bunch of TV things like featured on. Super cool. Let me show you guys. Well, now they're featured on my channel, so let me show you guys the truck of time. Okay, the lighting kind of sucks. <gasps> Bro, these are the enemies. Can you see it? Literally the enemies. I'm tired of killing them and like they're blind. Like I'm convinced they're blind because all they do is like fly in your face. What is it do? It's... Let me make sure this. Like they're all over. It's on the. I literally just knocked one off the table. There's literally dead ones around me. Like, I'm gonna just go in my car because this is the end. Sorry. But, anyways, I didn't even get to get the exact drink I wanted because, like, the internet wasn't working, but she kind of knew what I was talking about, so she just did it, anyways. So, oh, did I say I'm at Starbucks? If I didn't, I am. So, this is the. Camel frap extra drizzle cookie crumble and I it was supposed to be a vanilla caramel frap with cookie crumble but I mean it's basically the same thing so let's give it a test run it's actually pretty good yeah this is good I usually just get the um caramel frap guys can we talk about how far i've come like i'm literally vlogging in public alone here like yeah it doesn't feel like i was just in new york oh my gosh i was gonna go to another starbucks that was closer to where i got dropped off from the train 
but the it's not a film festival by the way it's a jazz festival so the jazz festival was like taking place in that area and the traffic was really crazy it took me like 30 minutes just to get here because i went to the other starbucks but like there was no parking it took me forever to get there and yeah waste of time so i came here so i was like oh this is uh, relatively new like this is a pretty new starbucks and there was a drive through so i was just gonna go through the drive through but the line for the drive through should be illegal so i just came inside and it was pretty much empty like there was like a couple people in front of me but nothing too crazy i just say that i'm sitting right by the um drive through though because every time someone drives away um I'm the first thing they see and they're the first thing I turn and see so yeah I'm probably gonna change my outfit for the jazz festival though I don't know exactly what I'm gonna wear but I feel like I'm definitely gonna see people I know and stuff so I kind of want to wear something cute guys I don't think you understand these bugs are literally crawling everywhere like I'm about to get out but anyways yeah I'm just gonna like finish a string so or maybe I'll leave before I finish it. I'm just gonna chill for a little, so that's the update. I'll probably see you guys when I'm getting ready for the jazz festival. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. So wait. I just realized I didn't even tell you guys the struggle, the hassle, the fight I went through trying to catch that train to get back home. Let's uh, let's rewind and remember what I said when I was by the Beria truck. Guys, I literally have a Beria taco. Beria is how you say it correctly, but they have a Beria taco truck. I have 30 minutes. It very much was not. I was sprinting, I was running, I was pulling a Usain Bolt trying to catch that train. And luckily I did. It left at 12.14 when it was supposed to leave at 12.11. And I got, let me tell you, I was using Google Maps. So I knew like what time I was going to get there to New York Penn Station. And it said I was going to get there at 12.09. But mind you, I'm getting there at 12.09. But I have to find what track my train is on. I have to know where like the tracks are even. Because New York Penn Station is huge. So yeah just imagine like i was asking every every worker every cop i saw where's this where's that where's that and i made it guys like i kid you not i pulled up on that train dripping in sweat i didn't even know if i was on the right train because like uh, before i went on you know the conductor is there so i asked him this is to this is to newark bloomfield yeah i was like this is to newark bloomfield msu he was like uh no, the one next to us. So I'm looking over there about to close, like as the door's closing, I'm about to run over there. It's like, no, 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 wait, actually it's this one, sorry, my bad. And then I ran onto that one and I'm like, okay, can I even count on this guy that I'm on the right train? So, um, the train is crowded cause you know, I'm one of the last people there. So I just sit beside two random people and I'm like, do you happen to know if this is to Newark? Um, like, is this going to New Jersey? She was like, yeah i think so um i'm going to see Chicago, so i was like okay that sounds about right so when the train starts taking off for underground a couple minutes later you know it's either way i'm screwed if this isn't the right train i'm going somewhere and the train isn't gonna reverse to bring me back to new york anyway so i'm like waiting until we go above ground to see if like you know the trees look familiar or anything and then i saw the american dream mall ferris wheel and i was like we did it joe we did it <laughs> and yeah i just remembered that as i was about to get home and i had to tell you guys but yeah i just got home and um yeah i'm gonna get ready in like a 20 minutes 30 minutes to go to the jazz fair and yeah that's where we're at see ya okay guys so we just got to the fair and i forgot my camera I forgot my camera. So I'm vlogging on my phone. I don't think I'm gonna do like a whole lot of vlogging, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm here. And I'll just vlog like anything important that I think of. Mental is also here. 
<laughs> you guys, you guys remember Mantle from the Zara situation. <laughs> that was the last time you were on YouTube, right? The Zara situation, Bestie? What do you have to say? Don't let me call you names after they be called on you. Okay, okay, she's ready to eat him up, I guess. But yeah, let me show you guys what it's giving. Why is it so good? Please welcome Blue Note recording artist Artemis featuring piano. On the trumpet, Ingrid Jensen. <laughs> I'm blocking. <laughs> Someone's having a grand old time. If it's one thing that's gonna be in your head, it's food. <laughs> I can't wait for that to watch. <laughs> Are you telling to move? I'm moving the camera right now. Who the heck are you talking to? Don't move. Empanadas. Okay, guys. So we're about to try Korean corn dogs for the first time. Show yours. Uh, hers is the hot cheeto, and mine is the original. So let's get into it. Not the pick me bite. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Okay, my turn. The hot dog inside. My favorite kind of maple syrupy. Oh, it's kind of. Okay, we're gonna try each other's. I don't know, I'm a little disappointed. I think I give mine a 7 out of 10. 5 out of 10. A what? 5 out of 10. Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days and I'm actually editing this vlog right now as we speak and I'm coming to an end and I realize I don't have an outro. I did this in my last video as well so I'm just filming my outro now I actually think this is like one of my favorite vlogs on my channel so far like I feel like I did a lot and like I actually like had fun and stuff like that I want to do more vlogs like these so you know I'm gonna try doing that I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tunisi underscore M I did post more content of like the Nike event just me in the city um and yeah follow me on Instagram um don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications I post every single Sunday I never missed a I've never missed a Sunday so definitely turn your post notifications on if you did enjoy this video and subscribe. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you next week. Bye.